So once that's in place, we'll move on to the 2.2 K ohm resistor, which is red, 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 gold. Here we have that. Now I'm going to fold this one down into a hairpin. And I'm going to cut it so that the legs are a little bit even. Alrighty. Now the 2.2 goes from B10 to B14. So B10 is right here. And then B14 is just below it. Let me use my needle nose again. And put that in place. There we have it. So that resistor is now in place. Now, the next resistor will be the 39K ohm resistor, which is orange, white, orange, gold. This one has a little bit longer to travel, so I'm not going to cut it at all. I'm just going to put it in place. E2 to positive. So, I'll take the put it into E2, just like that, and I'll bring the other end over to the positive, just like that. There. Now, I can always go back and shorten this. Once I've figured out my length, and I'm happy with that, I can simply pull it back out, cut some off, and put it back in, and it ought to fit just fine. So like I said, E2 to positive. So E2, and we'll put this into positive. There. So now we have that resistor into place. Now, the last one left is the 4.7, which is yellow, violet, red, gold. And that one is going to go from G9 to J10. That's a very short distance, so I'm going to cut this one. Cut this one off. So it's just about a half inch. That goes from G9 to J10. So G9, right there. And then J10, right next to it. So we're going to put that into place, right there. And it's important to make sure that the wires aren't touching each other when they get close to each other. So just look around, make sure everything has plenty of space, that nothing's shorting itself out by overlapping or touching something next to it. And if it does, just kind of move it around so that things aren't touching each other. It's very simple. You can always go back and cut these shorter if you want them to be perfect, but it's going to work this way. And it's easy. And so Now, that's the resistor placement. That's diagram B. So you can compare diagram B to what you've done here. And that's that.